Hello and welcome to this video. My name is ActiQ and this is my new VLC called ChipTQ and this series is pay to play from scratch and this is the 27th episode of that series and in this series I only make membership through bonds on my newbie account and I'm trying to create this character to be something that can kill the QBD pretty fast and obtain a lot of bonds that way. I still have some warbands loot that I can loot today, so I will bring my character to deep wilderness again and log off and go do warbands on my main account and then I will log to this char if I find a world that has herblore camps. So I managed to loot this camp over here and yeah it's a full inventory of herblore and I have gathered 50 already in the morning so today I was able to get uh, 75 out of 75 in herblore so I'm very happy with that. And I'm just turning in all my supplies and let's get the XP. So 4 XP and 64k XP in Hablor. So before I go back to training range, which I'm going to do sadly in this episode, I know it's a bit boring to do the same thing in every episode, but I need to get the level 70, so I'm gonna go do that. Um, so yeah, before I do that, I will show you my wealth at the moment. So I think this is pretty much all of the items that I have at the moment. So it's almost 20 million GP. I have some other junk in the bank, so I believe that I have around uh, 20 million exactly. So I haven't gained too much money, to be honest, uh, during this pay to play, but the balance has been more about uh, training skills at the moment. So I'm pretty happy that I actually have 20 million, which is uh, three bonds. So I could buy three bonds and uh, yeah, I would still be able to continue to play pay to play. So yeah, I never have to do free to play with this account again. And I just got the first level up of this episode. So that's 61 in ranged. 62 in range and I'm continuing to run in circles and kill the Dagenheim monks. 61 in constitution. Woohoo! Level 63 in range. Yeah, it's um, going nice. Um, these Zami warriors are really annoying because they're the only reason that you need to bring food to this location because the Dagenheim monks are easy to kill. But the Zami Warriors actually deal so much damage that I'm actually using up my food a bit on this location. Anyway, yeah, um, let's just kill all the monks of this place. And as you can see, it's, they are spawning really slowly at the moment, so I'm killing them too fast. There we go, I just got level 64 in ranged. So there we go, I got level 62 in constitution. I actually just came back after having a very long break uh, from recording this episode because my friends again asked me to play Minecraft and it's very bad that when I activate my bond then my friends wanna play Minecraft and I really don't want to tell no to them because uh, we haven't really played that much um, in a long time so it's nice to play with them but this account isn't really progressing as fast as I was hoping for because I'm spending a lot of time to play Minecraft with my friends. But even though I'm still um, playing a lot of Minecraft, I will also be able to do a lot of things on this account, because it's been only a couple of days since I activated my bond, and I already played about 16 hours on this account, so I already made a tremendous amount of progress after the first bond, so I'm pretty happy with that. Also, as this trip is pretty much coming to an end, as I'm running out of lobsters, I figured that since this place is getting really boring, I will actually try what's the XP rates when I'm doing chinning at the abyss, and maybe that's going to be nice, so I could do something like main hand chinning, and then offhand mage spell, or something like that. Uh, so it definitely I want to try that out um, after I'm finished with this trip. So yeah, that's what I will do next, but I'll just first get level 65 in ranged. And there we go, so now I got level 65 in ranged, so we are pretty close to being able to use the dark bow at warband, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna now go next to try chinning at the abyss, maybe that's going to be nice as well. 
So I have my setup for chinning and maging at the same time. So on my off hand I will have blood burst and on my main hand I will have the chin chompas. And I'm going to remove the counters over here so I can calculate the exact XP per hour. So as you can probably see from the food that I have used so far, it wasn't such a great idea to come back here after all. So I think I will have to do my level 70 ranged at the uh, Dagon High Monks. Because yeah, I have been here for only a couple of minutes and I'm already out of lobsters. The XP rates aren't horrible, but they aren't that great either. So yeah, uh, when I'm at 5 minutes or so, then I will check what's the actual XP rate per hour. So I wasn't really able to stay even 5 minutes, I stayed like 4 and a half minutes, so that's very bad. And the XP rates weren't that great either, so I was getting like about 100k range XP per hour if I could stay there, but then I have to bank also, so it's not even 100k per hour. So I'm going back to Dagon High Monks and I'm gonna check what's the XP rate there. So I'm back at this location, which I kind of hate already, but yeah, this is the best way probably for me to get the level 17 range. So I will endure it, I believe. Um, I just started a counter that will count my XP rates with 65 range and using the magic short bow. And then we will find out what kind of XP rate this location will give me. And I'm really assuming that it's better than actually doing the chinning at the abyss, especially since I have to go to the bank all the time when I'm at the abyss. I just reached my 5 minute market a while ago and I calculated that at this location I'm getting 140k range XP per hour. And as you can see I'm not yet killing all the monsters with one hit, so I'm killing like most of them, but some of the monsters require two hits. So this proves that you can get probably closer to 170k range checks per hour or even 180k range checks per hour if you can kill each and every monster with one hit and you find a world that spawns the monsters fast enough. I was talking with one of my friends in RuneScape about this uh, series and he said that people don't really care about showing level ups like when I get from 65 to 66. And I wanted to ask your opinion about it because um, I'm making this series like this because I want to have a record of everything pretty much that I did on this account. But are you finding it entertaining that I show pretty much all the level ups that I make? Or do you prefer something like I will show every 10 levels? I mean for this bond that I'm using right now I will definitely use this tactic where I just show pretty much every level up that I get at least every meaningful level up, like uh, each and every range level, because it gives you some kind of a record of how much of a grind it is to make a character like this. I mean, I've been playing for this episode over two hours already, and I have at the moment like 11 minutes of footage recorded, so yeah, if I would make something like I would show every 10 levels, then I would have to record like maybe uh, 15 hours or 20 hours to make one episode. And that would mean that during one bond, I would only be able to make maybe three episodes and I would still have to play a lot on this account. So I don't know, do you like this way that I'm doing this series or have you some suggestions to make it better? I know that this episode won't be out until like a couple of weeks, so I can't really online change uh, my tactic to record this uh, series from this bond. But on the next bond, I can take into consideration all the suggestions that all of you have. So yeah, definitely suggest something if you are finding these episodes boring. But also, I kind of want to do it the way that I'm doing because uh, this way I get myself a record of whatever I did on this account. So that, yeah, people realize that getting 3 or 4 level ups after level 70 is actually a lot of work. And talking of level ups, I just got level 66 in ranged. Also, one thing that I wanted to still say about the series is that if the episodes are feeling too long, you can always skip ahead and maybe you will find a more interesting part in the video or something like that. So yeah, you can always do that. But the longer videos also make it so that when somebody wants to do, for example, skilling or something, they can just put the pay to play from scratch series to play and then they can just um, go through pretty much all the episodes and they don't have to switch the video. So I also understand that kind of uh, watching the series, I suppose. 
63 constitution. And finally I got myself 67 ranged, so yeah, I'm happy with that. And I'm gonna wrap up this episode right now. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Pay to Play from Scratch. And if you like this series, you can leave it a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching and see you guys in the next episode.